So it's lunchtime. What's on the menu today? Braised pork with white wine mushroom sauce from Happy Yak. If you're interested in seeing what it looks like and tastes like, stay around. So a few videos ago, I introduced you to the line of Happy Yak freeze-dried meals. And I had said at that time, rather enthusiastically, that they were the best freeze-dried meals that I had ever tasted. Well, I still believe that to be true. So today I brought out another one of the meals from Happy Yak. This time, as I mentioned, the braised pork with white wine and mushroom sauce. And that's what I'm going to cook up for my lunch today. I'm going to do things a little differently probably every time I take one of these meals out. Today I'm going to be using a GI canteen cup over an emberlit stove to cook it in because one of the alternative methods for cooking and this one shows that you add 400 milliliters of water and the contents to a pot bring it to a boil simmer for two to four minutes take it off of the fire and set it aside for 12 to 15 minutes so that's what we're going to do today and uh, do the best we can at least and we'll see what it turns out like all right, just inside of the fire pit, just out of view, I have my emberlet going with a top-down burn. So that's what I'm going to be using for cooking today. It was just easier to bring my uh, emberlet stove out and uh, set it up in the fire pit here. Uh, all right, I'm using a canteen cup. A little bit different. I haven't done this for a while. And you can see my canteen cup has been modded with a bale. Easy enough to do. Just drill two holes in the side and use one of my ever-used stainless steel skewers for as the bale just bend it into shape but that's what I'm going to be using to cook in today just to show a little bit different so here it is again the braised pork with white wine mushroom sauce the instructions are to add this to 400 mils or approximately 400 mils of cold water so I have my water sitting here I thought this one had measurements on it but it does not so I am going to be calculating knowing this takes about 750 mils to fill a little bit higher than halfway. Put that aside. Open the package up. And I think I've mentioned before, the packages are mylar, so uh, don't put them in the fire. The, the mylar itself is, is in aluminum foil, so it will not burn. Oh, this looks amazing. I'm going to see if I can give you a shot of this in the bag. And that would be the braised pork and the noodles. All right, let's just mix them in. And that took up pretty much all the space in my cup. My spoon out. And very gently mix it in because I didn't probably allow for enough space. A little larger pot may have been better for this. Oh, there's a mushroom. Let's look. Oh man! Once again, looks good. Smells good. Let's get it on the fire. All right, I'm going to have to keep a close eye on this because my experience has been is working with the emberlet that they can produce a lot of heat. And if I'm not paying close attention, I have done it before, I've scorched my meals right inside of the canteen cup. So I'll be paying close attention. I'll be stirring this for a little while and, uh, and then uh, taking it off the heat and putting it beside the emberlet to keep it warm and let it sit for 12 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to bring you back when I feel it's ready so you can see what it looks like. All right. I'll let it sit maybe a little longer uh, next to the fire because I, I, I don't have a cozy for this today. I'm just using the canteen cup. So uh, it may not have been staying as warm as it would. Well, it's not as warm as it would have been if it had been in a, can, uh, in a cozy of some type. But uh, I was able to keep it warm with the emberlet sitting right next to it. So I think it probably worked out pretty good. It certainly looks good and it certainly smells amazing. So I'm going to give you a close up and then we'll do a, a bit of a taste test to see what I think. Hopefully you can see this, bring it into view here a little bit. Noodles, the bowtie noodles. The pork is all rehydrated and as I dig through I can find mushrooms. Mm, very distinct mushroom and white wine flavor on the sauce. Well, let's give it a try. A little bit of pork, a little bit of noodle. Mm. Okay, pork is perfectly hydrated. Last time I know I probably didn't leave it long enough in the in the cozy before I tried it and I found a couple of the pieces of the pork were a little bit on the chewy side. Not this time. 
Mm. Very tasty. Noodles are not hard or chewy. Neither are they so loose that they fall apart at the touch of the spoon. Perfect texture. The sauce. Let's see if I can get some sauce without anything else in it. Do you know, I said in my last video that one of the things I liked about the Happy Yak meals is where how little salt appears to be used in the meal. So that's the case here as well. It's, in fact, I think I would add a little bit of salt to this. I know that sounds strange for a freeze-dried meal, but eh, maybe just a touch, not much. A little salt, a little pepper, just to give it a little bit more flavor. Perfectly fine the way it is. Mmm. See if I can get this mushroom out to show you. I hope that's picking up on the camera. Also perfectly rehydrated. I noted that this is about, how many calories did it say? If you eat the whole thing, you're getting about 600 calories. They do give measurements for half the package, and that's, that's true of most uh, freeze-dried meals. 12% of your sodium. That's pretty, pretty low, actually. A lot of the meals are much higher than that. And 40 grams of protein. Can't beat that. That's a good, well-balanced meal. I know I'm doing it again. <laughs> I'm eating and talking, and you're sitting here watching me, and that's just not fair. So let's wrap this video up, and I can sit back and enjoy this without having you watch me eat. This is probably the third of the Happy Act meals that I've had. All three of them I've been very much impressed with. I still stand by my original statement that Happy Act make the best freeze-dried meals on the market today. I'll try others if people want to send them to me, but so far this has been the best that I've had. Also another good example. Each time I go out, I'll probably be taking a Happy Act meal with me. I'll continue to do reviews, give you ideas of what they taste like, what they look like, how, how I prepare them. If you have any comments that you want to um, add to either today's meal or any of the Happy Act meals, you can put them in the show notes below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now. Mmm.